All right, Shalom. This is Harold Wan by Yasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp, located right here in Jacksonville, Florida. Before I begin, I want to say Ka Halayim, La Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Havraka Kodash, Ma'ama. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim, Nagwati, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Um, this is a video. I saw like I think last week they uploaded this. I don't know, I'm not for sure. I don't really watch their videos, but it popped up in my uh, feed, IUIC Jacksonville, and I noticed that it was some type of uh, quarrel going on in the uh, thumbnail. Um, I forgot what the title was. The whole hood came to fight. The whole hood came to fight. No, it's called provoking them. They ain't show up to fight. You know, um, Jake is defensive, emotional, paranoid, violent, unruly. <laughs> so these, this is why we have the scriptures to guide us in our teachings. Yeah, the Lord said he made our forehead hard against their forehead. It was days... Uh, you know, I would step out. <laughs> we would be in like the spirit of Paul, man. He said, "Sparing, sparing none." It's, you know, and we still got that spirit on us. But now it's about once you, once you grow in this truth, you start to see the purpose that is not personal. That is not about stepping on another uh, person's foundation, like IUIC and ISUPK do. They call it taking the blocks and all that uh, like they were standing with um, Islam to stop the violence in the city <laughs> um, yeah these scriptures and us teaching that we're Israelites can, can change some people but they're most likely of the elect that's what we're here to do to reach the elect all right? but I want to get, get a scripture real quick um, let me get this real quick. All right. Let me get this real fast. Here we go. Amos three and six. Shall a trumpet? Shall a trumpet? Let me get this. Um, f verse five. Can a bird fall into a snare upon the earth? Just like we fell into a snare of the heathen by going in slavery, our people in the condition they're in, violent, you know, and the Most High uh, said he have blinded their heart that they can't find the way. So that's why the Lord tells us to go out and do what? Fish to a sea of people. You find a post somewhere, and you just post up. You don't have to confront people and say, I'm going to stand right here in front of y'all. And just <laughs> teaching your face. You're going to get met with aggression. And then you can't be shocked on so they came to fight. Nah, man. See, that's why um, it's better to just post up and they walk by you. Or, it's, you know, in groups or it might be individuals. And as you're speaking... They'll hear, they'll hear something. I'm, I'm going to get that too. Hopefully I don't forget to get it. Let me uh, get that real quick. All right. This is Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. See, this is why people in the, are in that condition. And they said, Where is wherein has thou loved us? You know, and those that come to the Father must believe that he is. Man, you gotta believe in him. And a lot of our people have no idea. You know, this is called boasting against the, the branches. You you're setting up a shop right in front of them and expecting them not to um confront you when you're telling them to keep the laws. Like you Yeah. <laughs> We're supposed to keep the laws, but you can teach. There's a difference between talking at somebody and talking to somebody. That's the difference, man. You know, um, 
they binding burdens on them that's grievous to a lot of the uh jakes they'll come up and say yeah you gotta you gotta uh wear your fringes they ain't about to put no fringes on man you know they gotta they gotta understand why first why wear the fringes it, it, we don't even have to wear fringes but except for when you're out there teaching um you know you can if you want to but uh now it says isaiah 30 and 20 it says though he give us the bread of adversity and the water of affliction yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore but thine eyes shall see thy teachers where are they gonna see you at they're gonna the scripture say it man we're not supposed to be going up there and confronting them you know um and expecting them to not be uh violent right and then you meet violence with violence just to teach no the lord ain't saying we got to do that you can protect yourself but we're not out there to physically confront people all right that's not i'm not saying that's what this guy was doing uh, the, the iuic uh, brothers but what i'm saying is they can't expect this the whole hood came to fight no the ho whole hood came to introduce themselves <laughs> You know what you're stepping into. They're just aggressive. Yeah, that don't mean they're going to hurt you. It says, And thine eyes shall hear a word behind thee. Not in front of them, stand in front of them. Like IUIC like to do. Stand in front of the churches. You know, I used to do that. And, I, and they would come out, and I knew what to expect. So. And then you see them all stepping up, ready to fight. Like it's like, yo, they're gonna wind up fighting at some point. All right? Um, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, "This is the way, man." All right. And it says what? Yahweh Shai is the way, the truth, and the light. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and also the laws. That's the that's the righteous way. But this truth. Yahweh Shai says he is the way. He is the door to Yahweh. Thine eyes shall hear a word behind thee, right, when they walking by, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right hand or when ye turn to the left. You see that? So, matter of fact, let me get one more. All right, this is Ezekiel 37 and 16. All right, the Lord does tell us um, in the scriptures to what go out and lift up our voice as a trumpet. And Proverbs one says, "What go out into the uh, high, into the streets? Wisdom crieth without in the streets." All right, yeah. So they're in the streets, but he said, "What the highways and the byways, in the chief concourse." All right, and the concourse is like the marketplaces where a lot of people gather. Not just saying I'm gonna go to dark skinned people only. To the hood. It's, it's not about that, man. It's about calling out to the elect. Alright. Ezekiel uh, 37 16. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it. So we take out a, a, a stick. It says here like a placard or a board or a plank. And that's. A, a, a board that you take out and you write the tribes on there all right just like i have right here all right the 12 tribes on so now this is what we commanded to do all right for judah and for the children of israel his companions then take one take another stick and write upon it for joseph the stick the stick of ephraim and for all the house of Israel, his companions. All right. So it's basically bringing the tribes back together, but through the elect. All right. This is a call out to the, the children of Israel, which ultimately is going to bring us back together. But it's going to start with the elect. All right. Or Revelation 7. But we're going to be scattered amongst many nations, looking like the other nations. All right. The kindreds. Now, um, 
It says here, and join them one to another into one stick. Then, I mean, and they shall become one in thine hand. All right. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, see, they're going to come up to you. Right. And saying, will thou not show us what thou meanest by these? Like, what? Explain this to me, man. Not just tell me about the laws, bro. I, w I would love to hear about it, but not from IUIC. <laughs> so, they said they're going to walk up to you. They're going to say, yo, explain this to us, man. Right? It says what? And say unto them, thus saith Yahweh, behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, because Ephraim was the chief, chief house of the northern tribe, and the tribes of Israel, his fellows, and will put them with him, even with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they shall be one in my hand, man, make one branch, one stick, basically bringing them back together, all right? Now, uh, and the sticks whereon thou writest shall be in thy hands before their eyes. So we go out and we teach, and we allow the opportunity for people to approach us. Some may be scoffers, some not. But to go, Scripture says he made our foreheads hard against their forehead. But, but he also says this. Let me get this. All right. Second Timothy 2 and uh, 1. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Yahweh Shai. All right, Mashiach Yahweh Shai, because that's what we're under grace right now. Um, now it says here, And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others. That's it, man. We're looking for other men that are able to teach, man. All right, let's get that. All right, this is Matthew 3 and 7. But when, this is John, when he was, uh, let me read it, verse 5. Then went out to him Jerusalem and all Judea. All right, a bunch of Jakes were coming out to meet with uh, Yachanan, whose name means uh, Grace. And all the region round about Jordan and were baptized of him in the Jordan, confessing their sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees, because not all the Pharisees and Sadducees were righteous or wicked. A lot of them were actually good, but then you had a lot that were uh, that were going off. All right, just like IUIC. All right, come to, so they came to the baptism also. Just like today. And he said unto them, O generation of vipers, man. All right, spewing out that poison. Who, 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 who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come, man? So who, you know? And even today, I believe they're in the stead of the, the uh, Pharisees, man. Uh, and also, not to go too deep into that topic, but IUIC, all they talk about is the law, the law, the law. They say we're already under the covenant. You know, they don't teach about the MOTB, Revelation 13 and 6. They don't tell you the Lord's name. So what are they really doing? They can, we can call them entry-level Israelites. Yeah, we appreciate that because the scriptures say that. Let me get something real quick. All right. This is Second Corinthians thirteen and eight. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth, man. So them going out there saying we Israelites, or saying the laws, and saying we must obey, uh, keep the laws that were given to the Israelites. That's an entry into the conversation. So if we call it entry level Israelites. But if you hear Israel, uh, uh, IUIC say it, they'll say, hey, man, all the other camps, 
by teaching the false doctrine and they keeping the oh, this is madness, man. All right, so it says here, generation of vipers who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come. Bring forth, therefore, fruits meet for repentance, man. So that's what we're looking for. Brothers that are ready to repent. To who, though? This is this is the point. You can't just be out there. Yeah, you got to turn to Christ. They, don't, they hear Christ, like Elder Pastahara would say more recently. Uh, I've heard him say it. Um, that Jesus name, it's like screeching a board with, on, you know, with your nails on the board, man. Saying Jesus or Christ. The Lord's name is Yahawashai. And that's what we're supposed to tell our people. Real quick. Look, I mean, look at the <laughs> the whole hood came to fight. And they got dude here. <laughs> Fair use, fair use, man. Um, you know, you, I get it. I get it, man. Um, let me get one more precept. Like this brother here, that don't mean he's not sincere. You know, that's why we always say there's still going to be some elect in these uh, camps. You know, Ezekiel and the 37, the dry bones. Some not going to have a breath. But then, uh, once all hell breaks loose and they, they uh, make it mandatory, MOTB, um, scriptures say that they all, their eyes, they should all see together. So if they're of the elect, they'll wake up to the truth and accept it. If they're of the two thirds, they're real, they they will, um, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5. You know, they're going to realize they have erred from the way of truth. All right? And the Lord was not dealing with them. But, look, let me just read, man. All right? It says here, uh, what about to read real quick? All right? So, Romans 10 and 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh for Israel is that they might be saved. So, maybe this is this guy's desire as well but this is the point for i bear them record that they have a zeal of yahweh so this brother this brother here or these brothers may be compassionate for our people but they what and they may have compassion towards god right as they would say just god but not according to the knowledge man so according to the knowledge they don't teach the name of yahweh they don't teach the name of yahweh shai Right, <clears throat> for they being ignorant of Yahweh's righteousness today, what the Lord is accepting from us is what the truth. He he says he seeketh he seeketh such to worship Him in spirit and in truth, man. So you can't go up to the people giving them a stone when we're supposed to be giving them the fish. All right, when they ask for clean water, then you give them bitter water. That two things shouldn't come out of one faucet. For they being ignorant of Yahweh's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. Man, that's what um, Nate has done. It got to the point where he said you can't call him Nate. Man, whatever. Or they say um, when you walk up, they're like, take your hat off. Or where your fringes? They won't even have a conversation with you without just yelling in your face. You know, so you got to do some breakdowns. You got to give our people warning. And he said, give them warning from me. Who's the me he's talking about? They say, Christ. It's like, you didn't help him. You didn't help him, man. You just went, you just took him to a forest with a bunch of trees and woods. And you said, there's a path in there somewhere. Find it. (laughs) It's like instead of saying, hey, here's the path. This is the way. This is his name, Yahweh Shah. When you get there, ooh. It says, have, what? They, for they being ignorant of Yahweh's righteousness, what, did he, what is he accepting from us? Our, um, our spiritual sacrifice. All right? And going about to establish their own righteousness, man. Going up telling you, you got to 
just law keep the laws and that's how you're gonna be saved building a community I would say wide is the gate that leads to destruction but narrow is the way and few there be that find it it'd be crazy if this brother actually get into the truth and wind up cutting him in the future with this with the truth with the scriptures <laughs> hey, you know but they being ignorant of Yahweh's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh. All right. For Yahweh Shai is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth, man. So you probably going up to telling them about Yahweh Shai. You know? Um Let me get this. All right, because our um when our people don't understand the truth or know who they are they are in a gentile state of mind all right foreigners um now it says here romans 2 and 10 but glory honor and peace to every man that work of good to the jew first so the ones that claim to be keeping the law that know the jews know the israelites and also to the gentiles but also to the israelite gentiles all right that don't know they're just calling themselves black or African or Muslim, whatever. They're in the Gentile state of mind. Right here, right? <clears throat> so, for there is no respect of persons with Yahweh. So, the Lord looking at them just like them, looking at us as well. But these brothers think they're better than them because they're saying they're keeping the law perfectly. We say we keep the law to the best of our ability, you know, and what makes us better is teaching the truth. We become a new creature, having having the word inside of us and the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Keeping the laws, the Lord said He counted all under sin. We keep the law, but it's still that makes us. He said, our, our, "What did Paul say? Our, his righteousness was as filthy rags." All right, but there is a betterment in keeping the laws. Yes, kind. So, you know, you want to tell people, hey, man, it's, it's better to keep the laws because that's what the scriptures say. But not that, hey, I'm better than you or this and that. It says, for as many as have sinned without the law, also perish without the law. All right, so if they don't have the law, let me just read it. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. So for as many as have sinned without the law, so they Gentiles and they are born into sin as we were. And they continue in that and they perish in that. Right. They should perish without it either way. And as many, they're going to die a sinner. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. That's just the same, man. So you claim to be out there talking some law, 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 this and law, that. And you better keep the law. And you're going to keep the law to be saved and this and that. Yeah, we we tell people to keep the laws too. But then you see IUIC with Egypt. You see them getting, you know, uh, when they had the lockdowns. You'll see them talking about um, you got to wear your fringes. Right, but then they're teaching false doctrine. So which is worse, and blaspheming the Lord's name? Whew. Right. So that's why I can it's, I can never respect IUIC. Of course, you want to see uh, uh, as men seeing other men stand up for something and never not falling for anything. But in this truth, you gain responsibility and you want to see it done right all right so it says for not the hearers of the law are just before yahweh but the doers of the law <clears throat> shall be justified and it's impossible for us to keep the law perfectly until yahweh shai puts us under that new covenant puts the laws into our inward part jeremiah 31 and um makes us perfect you know we're justified and uh, and anointed 
under grace in the spirit in the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Shai until that marriage. Alright, in this in the covenant. And then we'll be perfectly perfect. Starting off with the elect and then going on to the rest of Israel. Alright, so now I'm gonna play a little bit more of this, man, but check it out. It was this the reason I, I wanted to play this is because um just one for guidance to any brothers that has their camps out there or how to move throughout the cities. Yeah, you may go to the hood, but you don't have to go set up in front of somebody. Like right in front of them and shit. Like they're having a barbecue, you just set up right there or set up in a barber shop. I've seen some of the camps doing uh standing in front of the churches, challenging them. I've done that, but I've still like across the parking lot and gave them an opportunity to approach us. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, so this is what you get. But it was the reason I got this because this these brothers here, somebody asked, what is the Lord's name? And they couldn't tell him. Check it out. Now I'm ready to die for the Lord. All right, so now fighting for the Lord. So why don't we all come? He's putting on the show, man. That's right. That's right. These dudes ain't deep, man. You know, uh, I get it. Let me get this real quick. I get what he's saying. It says here, 1 Timothy 6 and 12, fight the good fight of faith. So, faith. Fight the good fight of faith, man. That's what this is about. But it says also, those that call on his name shall be saved. So who is he going to have faith in? Faith in the laws? Well, that means we have to have faith in ourselves to keep it. And we'll fail. <laughs> we got to have faith in Yahweh Sh Shai. All right, that Yahweh has raised him up. It's going to make us perfect and is um, having mercy on us. As we try to keep the laws and, you know, he said, um, thou has a little strength. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, wherein too thou art called, are also called, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, man. So we gotta be called to this thing. You gotta be called into this truth. We're not out there to try to convince people. Finagle, finagle them into the truth. Now it's, it's the Lord has um set up the ears of the hearer and he set up the voice of the speakers and both of them are set here together if they have an ear to hear you know and a voice to speak if they have the elect all right so let me play a little bit more watch this i'm gonna make this thumbnail you know what i mean Yeah, you couldn't hear him. He said, everybody, Lord, ain't the same Lord. Right? That's right. You got to hear that. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Now, listen. Listen to the background. You can't hear. You can't even hear what the people saying because this dude yelling so much. Erratically. All right, let me get this real quick. Look <laughs> at buddy. He like, <laughs> look at they faces, boy, Jake. They listening, man. You got to peep that. They mad, but they still asking questions. And he got a chance to give them the truth, man. He like, Christ. That's crazy, man. He said, yo, everybody, Lord, ain't the same, Lord. Zechariah 14. Um... 
Where is it at? Here you go. This is Zechariah 14. Um, and, uh, all right, here we go. Verse 9. Zechariah 14 and 9. And Yahweh shall be king over all the earth. And in that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. So that's what? So right now, um, there's a remnant that's going to call on the name of the Lord correctly and believe in sincerity and in truth. But in the kingdom, we're all going to call on the same Lord. So in these times, yeah, they're going to have, they like, our, all, our Lord ain't the same Lord. So I would have been like, what name you call on? See, they can't have this conversation. Yeah, but we all fight for the Lord. Heard him. Everybody, Lord, ain't the same. Lord, he like, listen, 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 listen. See that intimidation factor, man. That's how AOIC be moving. He said, who's coming back? He can't answer it. Who's coming back? He says, it's about your height. Look, there's nobody coming back to save you. See, that's when you're supposed to break it down, man, how we got delivered out of Egypt and go into the history and go into the scriptures and the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and show how the Lord prophesied in Deuteronomy 28 how we were going to go into slavery and be and be punished and be delivered from that slavery. Go, You got to go into the topic of Abba Bibbins and Elijah to show these things, the, the process of how the Lord Yahweh Shai was sent and the Roman Empire tried to destroy him. You know, so it can help build a foundation and an understanding of even how Yahweh Shai gave his life for us, you know, and, and his color and his name, the tribe, how the tribe was scattered. Tribes, 12 tribes of Israel were scattered. See, they start to relate to that, you know, and um, if they have the elect, hey, they hear it. But if you post up in front of them, Saying we're gonna bully and take your this spot right here. Where can anybody go? That's the new watering hole. You're gonna sit there and just attack each other. But if you set up on a post and people can just walk by, then if they disagree, you can say, hey, keep walking. <laughs> it's smarter that way, man. All right. But hey, all in all, they made it through the day. Thankfully, we don't see we don't want to see anybody hurt. You know, I don't know if anybody was fighting on here. I ain't watched the whole video, but I caught this part where he said, "Who is coming back?" All right, I'm gonna watch this. Down on the seat, you take prisoners. We all got to fight. You have to get the highest possible man. That's what I'm talking about. Coming back. Who coming for this? We got to do that. We got to do that. Everybody, Lord, 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 everybody, Proverbs 30 and 4. Who hath ascended up in the heaven? All right, this is a question that this Jake is asking, this brother is asking. asking. He's saying, Who? Who are you talking about? Or descended. So who's coming back? All right, that's the question he's asking. All right, and who have gathered the wind in his fist? So who created the heavens and the earth? Who have bound the waters in a garment? Or who created the, you know, space, right? The heavens and the earth. Who have established the ends of the earth, man? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? Why are you telling the name, man? You know, uh, Ezekiel 3 and um, 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. All right. Therefore, is that what? So we what? 
we supposed to what? It says, therefore, hear the word at my mouth from the elders and from the Akim, the sincere brothers, and give them warning from me. So all of us are speaking the warnings from who? You can't tell. They're going to say Christ. Or this no, we're warning you from Yahweh Shai. And there's a doctrine that's tied to that name. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the spirit of truth. All right. So we're supposed to warn them of their wicked ways. Yeah, you tell them to keep the laws to the best of their ability. Stop celebrating these folly days that they call holidays. Stop eating shrimp, pork, lobster, and all these different things. Abominable foods. Don't stop going down to Egypt for help trusting in this system. All right. You know, eat healthy like the scriptures say. Uh, study. Build, build up your mind. Break up your follow ground. These are things that have to happen. Somebody, if they're in that crowd, would have picked up on that. If it's meant to be, if the spirit would deal with them. The spirit got to enter into them, man. Be dealing with them. All right? Can't go out there and try to force the, the whole group. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to get under. It's like, what? So we're supposed to give them warning from the Lord and check this out what's the warning too of the judgment day he said what when he coming back who well he's coming back in the midst of this, the world war 3 tell them the prophecies so when they see it happen they'll know that the spirit of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy and that, it, and that there has been a prophet among them and they'll know who to call on They won't be able to keep the law perfectly if they if they don't know and they hear it at the last minute. They can't keep all the laws perfectly, you know. And say, yeah, I've done it for seven days or something, two days, but how long they got? So we can at least give our people the key or the seal and the knowledge of Yahweh and the faith, help them build them up in their faith. That he can make us perfect. Just like they did on the movie Wizard of Oz. They had to be healed. They, you know, they all needed help. Alright, so now. Um, what I wanted to get. There's another precept on my mind. This is Zechariah 13 and 8. It says. it. Um, yeah, matter of fact, why not? I'll go to uh, 7. It says, Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, and against a man that is my fellow, saith Yahweh of hosts. Smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall scatter. And that's what happened. The shepherd, uh, really ultimately talking about Yahweh Shai being a shepherd, and he was smitten, and then we were scattered. All right, but we're still his sheep, if we're of the elect. We were scattered amongst the people. All right, so now the Lord is calling his, his sheep back to him. And what did he say? His sheep hear his voice. They will not hear another's voice. All right, so we don't, we don't really have to go to these. You can go to the areas, but you don't have to go to the hood trying to prove something. Right? And it shall come to pass that in all the land, and now today with uh, this land, America, Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. So two thirds are going to perish here. So you give them that warning. You say, hey, this is a warning from Yahweh Shai. If you don't repent, and Jake, some Jake learn through pain. So that's why the Lord say that. They're going to know it after being unalived by pain. Right, through pain, a painful uh, exit. It said two parts, two thirds therein shall be cut off and unalived but the third shall be left therein that's the elect and the third and I will bring so like it, I will bring the third part through the fire so we're going to be persecuted go through adversity just like everybody else but it's going to be different you know we'll be uh, given protection guidance right the Lord said he'll compass us as with the shield and also the destruction no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. 
and I will bring the third part through the fire. All right, adversity as well. And I will refine them as silver is refined. So we're being refined in faith. All right, being tried as gold is tried in the furnace of adversity. And we'll try them as gold is tried. And they shall call on my name. What did Azariah do? The prayer of Azariah in the Apocrypha. He said, you know, it, he, he called out to the Most High, man, in the midst of the flame. He said, what? And I, he said, what? They shall call on my name and I will hear them, not on his title, we're going to call on his name. Why? Because the Lord said he was going to give his name in these last days. All right? But how, call on his name. What's his name? Who is he? You got you to tell the people his name. And I will hear them, see? And I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, Yahweh is my power. <clears throat> but how are you going to say it? How should it? Let's get it. This is Romans 10 and 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It's that simple. It's, it's not that simple to get his name, but it's that simple to, to, to understand. That if you call on the Lord's name, because it was a secret, and it was hidden from us, now he allows us to be able to call on his precious name in the Lashawan Kodash, the Holy Tongue, as IUIC's leader has done before, and then he denounced it and desecrated the Lord's name. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So you leave that with our people. You tell them that. And then they got the choice to call on him or not. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? See, they don't even believe in the name of Yahusha. And even... Our, our people that are in the Gentile state of mind, how are they going to call on the Lord's name? And we say, our, everybody's Lord is not the same Lord. So they're not going to call on Yahweh Shai because they don't know him. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? So now you got a chance when you're standing in front of them or they're in front of you to give the Lord's name to him. And how shall they hear without a preacher? All right, whosoever shall call in the name of the Lord shall be saved. And how shall they preach except they be sent? Man, you got to be sent. And I, I don't believe IUIC is sent from Yahweh Shai. They're sent from Nate. And how shall they preach except they be sent? So how are you going to tell them the Lord's name if you're not sent to give them the name? <laughs> the Lord didn't send you. As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace, man, and bring glad tidings of good things, man. Go out and teach our people the truth, man, making peace between them and the Father, going into the gaps. That's what Amos chapter 9 is talking about with the breach. All right? Um, so now, let me get this. Let me go back to the video real quick. Actually, you know what? Here you go, Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox know of his owner, and the ass is master's crib. So the ox, even though it's one of the, they say the dumbest animals or whatever, it's, it's, it's still a, one of the chief uh, laboring animals on the earth for labor. All right. So the ox, if you out here doing the work of cutting yourself working for the Lord, you should know your owner. You know, if you call yourself a servant. Who your owner? You're gonna say Christ. So we don't know his name. <laughs> the ox know of his owner, how was shy, and the ass his master's crib. Even though the ass is the same as the uh, the ox, uh, you know, it said being dumb. But even the ox knows his his way home. <laughs> To the master's crib. All right, that they're Israelites. But Israel do have not know. All right, so Jake don't know that they're Israelites is what I'm trying to say. My people do have not considered, so they don't even consider it. And that's when because that's when they're in the Gentile state of mind. Ah, a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity. We gotta understand that. There's sickness. 
So the first thing they yell out, you listen to it. They, every Lord is not the same Lord. Boom. There you go. You can, that's the sickness right there. They're throwing, they letting you know. Ow. <laughs> Where does it hurt at? My knee. <laughs> and you got, you give them the healing for it. You know, the antidote. I can't see that, but you give them the eye salve. I feel weak. This, this is we 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 weak here in 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 this place. Well, give them the milk to strengthen their bones, to strengthen them them uh, our people up. And, you know, <clears throat> then help them understand the faith to give them the armor to fight spiritually. So. Children that are corruptors that have forsaken Yahweh, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards. All right. So why should you be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick. The whole head, heart is faint. So two thirds, they're going to keep revolting. The wicked shall wax worse and worse until the day of judgment. Just put a stop to it. That's how the Lord going to stop the evil that's going on in the cities because the city going to be destroyed kaput thus saith the Lord this is Amos 3 and 6 shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it the word evil just means bad and our people the condition they're in that's a, a wound a breach you know, a wound from the Most High that He put on our people, man, under the curses, because we were we were going off. So the evil that they're doing is them waxing working worse and worse, revolting even against their, their parents, their families, more uh, moral behavior. You know, with guns and killing each other, revolting against righteousness, man. So that's that's a we can't you go out there and say i'm gonna stop this over here on the north side by going out there and teaching every day you ain't gonna stop nothing they're just gonna go around you or involve you in it so you, you know you may you may go around to the hood but it's, it gotta be more than that you just go anywhere you know go where the spirit leads you you know um not just to the hood and you know looking for everybody that looks like shaft or, or isaac hayes Just, you know this is uh let me get something else real quick this is uh second chronicles 7 and 14. it says here if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves all right shall humble themselves and this will this is what we're supposed to read to our people and teach them and pray and seek my face how do you seek Yahweh's face by seeking Yahweh Shai all right seeking wisdom which is the reflection of Yahweh the mirror image seeking his face means to repent and turn back to him seeking him ten times more and turn from their wicked ways so that means try your best to keep the laws right turn from your wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and forgive their sin and will heal their land. All right. See that? He said, we're going to call on his name. He said, uh, he's going to hear us from heaven. And say, it is, it is my people. Man. All right. Who's going to be his people? The elect. That's his people. All right. Yeah, all Israel is his people. But starting off with the elect, he said, right now, two thirds are his enemies. All right. Even even of late, my people has risen up as an enemy. So um, he, he counted, he counts two thirds of the, uh, heathens. Sirach 17 and 10, and the elect shall praise his holy name. Whew. So. We're going to praise the Lord's holy name, man. Where? Let's look. Starting now. All right. Psalms 22 and 22. I will declare thy name unto my brethren. See, that's what we're supposed to do as well. Being in that spirit of the house of David, right? 
we're supposed to declare the Lord's name unto our brethren, unto our people. In the midst of the congregation will I praise thee. All right? So that's happening right here, right now. We're supposed to be praising the Lord's name in these times. Ye that fear Yahweh, praise him. All ye the seed of Jacob, glory, glorify him and fear him. All ye the seed of Israel, man. See that? So we're supposed to go out and tell our people to call on the Lord's name and we're supposed to declare his name in the midst of our brethren and in the midst of the congregation. All right? And then in the kingdom, we, we will not have to teach our neighbors or our people anymore. Neighbor just means brother. All shall know the Lord in the kingdom. But right now, we're teaching the Lord's name all the way until salvation. Check this out. This is Second Ezra 2 and 44. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing. So that's salvation. All right, that's getting uh, changed into immortal bodies. And put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh. So the elect are going to confess the name of Yahweh in these times before the change happened before salvation, before the covenant is sealed with us in the wilderness. But we're going to be confessing, confessing. All right, let me get that. It's deep, man. It says, uh, Romans 10 and 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. So you first got to believe, all right, unto righteousness. That's where the righteousness is at now, believing. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So we're going to be confessing right now in these times, before the congregation, the Lord's name, all the way unto salvation. Salvation means to be saved from the snare of the fowler, the trap that's being set before us. To be saved from our condition out of hell. All right? And and have confessed the name of Yahweh. Now are they crowned and received palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? And he's going to put the laws in our inward part. So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of Yahweh whom they have confessed in the world. So you're not, a, you're not only going to confess the name of Yahweh. Check this out. It says we're going to be confessing the name of the son of God, Yahweh Shai. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. See that he said, I've made your forehead hard against their forehead. You know, being un unmovable when it comes to the Lord's name. <clears throat> Instead of what, um, let's get that real quick. We're supposed to be standing stiffly for the Lord's name all the way until the end. All right, not changing. Proverbs 24 and 21. Everybody know Nate, the leader of IUIC, changed and started uh, going against the Lord's name. My son, fear thou Yahweh and the king. And the king today is Yahweh Shai. And meddle not with them that are given to change. For their, for their calamity shall rise suddenly. And who knoweth, knoweth the ruin of them both? Look at Diddy. Oh, you rich folks, man. Shit. What y'all be doing behind closed doors? That shit start coming to light. Ah, yes. Right, so the Lord said, don't be double-minded, man. Don't be saying, yeah, you serve the Lord, but then you don't know his name. But you know his name, but you're disrespecting it. And then they ask you, hey, what's your name? My brother, my name is Brother Karab. But what's the Lord's name? Christ. <laughs> Yo. You eating the fish and giving them the stone to eat. A double, this is James 1 and 8. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So that's why their doctrine is unstable too. All right, so we're we're standing stiffly for the name of Yahweh Hashem El Shai. All right, unmovable, stiff. 
He said he made our foreheads hard against theirs, so we hard-headed too against this world. Stubborn. All right. James 1 and 20. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of Yahweh. Right. We're not going out here to confront people and, yeah, man, I want y'all to set up a camp in front of this church and go out here to visit this pastor. Go out here to uh, stop the uh, gang violence. All them people sitting over there having a barbecue, go set up in front of them. Nah, you just find a spot to teach, man, and you, you, you build your altar there. All right, that's what we're doing when we're teaching. We're building spiritual altar, altars. All right? You ain't got to hide. I'm talking about, you know, but you don't want to, like, there's people sitting there, you know they, Jake going to be Jake. I learned my lesson the hard way until I decided to just trust the spirit and um, those that had cared for me. Because I was going uh, full steam ahead. And the elder put a comment on my page one on our page one time he said yo just he put a scripture out there where it said um, kick off the dust at thy feet if they won't accept you into this city go into the next meaning we don't have to go to another city but if it's an area where they don't where they trying to physically attack you you don't want to sit there and keep fighting them you, you can move and go somewhere else and next thing you know the most high judge that place even like us down there at the park Hemming Plaza where we used to teach at we had uh we was bugging man well i was bugging one day i took the quran i slammed it on the ground it was like ah, I have to. next thing you know you see a, a slushy flying right right and then uh, people pulling out knives they were pulling out boulders old lady walking with a rock about to hit one of the brothers it was madness one brother head got split man in the process and it was all because of stubbornness. So I had a choice to listen or not, and I listened. We just started moving on. And next thing you know, that whole park got shut down from, uh, you know, the loiterers or the, a lot of the homeless that was out there that was Muslim. Just because they're homeless don't mean they ain't violent. It was violent. All right. Um, so... <clears throat> you move where the spirit leads you. Not where your boss tell you, yeah, you go out here and stand them ten toes down. And stand in front of them and you're going to make them believe. <laughs> Let's keep these laws together, brother. They ain't going to do it. Keep the laws. What? That's what they're going to say. What laws? You know, you got to put them in the fear of the Lord, man. Get them to understand what God created those laws for us. Who his son is, man. He beareth not the sword in vain. What he did to the Egyptians. Whew, you know. Show them the prophecies, how it's happening now. See, IUIC don't understand that. Show them in detail the prophecy so they can see it. Like, dang, it do match up with the scriptures. No other book. No one shall want his her mate. All right? So, Matthews 10 and 14, And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust at thy feet. All right? For I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city for that area to be judged those people that were there and they'll get caught up in it the, the destruction that's coming here the same thing that happened to Sodom and Gomorrah the Lord said they'll have their part in the lake of fire the scoffers you know the persecutors so why sit there and just keep you know, going at them, trying to change them. All right, man, that's what the Lord said that in the scriptures. Um, one man water, one another man planteth, but it's the most high that gives the increase, man. All right? So we can't force these people to change, man. 
All right. So uh, he said, give not thy pearls unto swine because they will turn and rent you. And swine, what do they do? They like to waddle in the mud, in the mire, in the wickedness. All right. Ecclesiastes 7 and 13, consider the work of Yahweh. So consider what the Lord did to, to judge our people and analyze it and look at our people like, damn, okay. So if I go set up right here in front of Jenkins Barbecue while they all sitting outside, pants sagging, blasting their music, doing whatever they do, I'm going to set up right here in front of them and change these brothers. <laughs> it says this who for who can make that straight which he have made crooked see that so you, you you might set up up the street you ain't gotta go too far but just go up the block a little bit and they'll begin to walk by you or hear about you or say hey those israelites up the street but to go right in front of them you're gonna be met with confrontation a lot of questions which is not bad but Depend on how you take it. So you you know, so we go out we go out in faith and we put out our line. The Lord said our line is going around the the whole earth through the internet. You know what I mean? You gotta give curses out too, you know, the judgment that's coming for the heathens. So you go in the marketplace in the midst of a lot of people where a lot of people gather at. We don't have to go to what they say the gang bangers and try to get them to lead the gangs and shit. It'll happen if the Lord wants it to, wants them to. So Rock nine and thirteen, keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. All right. So shalt thou not doubt the fear of death. So you won't have to worry about them trying to shoot you up. But the Lord going to protect me. But why tempt this whole situation? The Lord is saying, don't go around that shit. You know, they around that. If it's a heavy uh, uh, murder area, you might test the water and teach out there once or twice, but you ain't got to keep saying, this is our block now in the spirit of the Lord. Uh, yeah, the, I get it. But is the Lord with you? You know, that's the point. And why drag all these people into danger that's with you? Keep thee far from the man that have power to kill, man. Don't stay away from Jake with these guns, man. So shall, you ain't got to hide, but I'm saying stay away from him. You ain't got to be around him, you know. So shalt thou not doubt the fear of death. And if thou come unto him, make no fault. Now, if you were going out there, he in your face, I'm a dog, you a dog. All right. Make no fault, lest he take away thy life presently. Don't you know? Go out there, wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. Don't go out there threatening. You know, act like you're gonna fight them for no reason. Yeah, you're gonna protect yourself, but you, if if I go and stand in front of my door and teach and start rebuking them, I gotta expect them to come out with aggression. Lest he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares, man, and that's another snare trap people up man you getting violent fight out there now that police get involved and lock everybody up all right and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city what he say shall there be evil in the city and the lord have not done it so these are battles spiritual battles going around so you got to watch how you approach it if you approach it carnally or with aggression they're going to meet you with aggression if you're approaching in the spirit or in straight judgment, just straight telling them um, to be like, keep the laws like you and all this, they're going to meet you with envy. But if you tell them about Yahweh Shai, someone who's greater than us all, and what he's done for us, you know, they have no choice but to um, be fully persuaded in their own mind. All right? So, that's right, man. This is Matthew 23 and 23. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, man, hypocrites, over there, IUIC. For ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin 
and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, faith, right? So they all about the tithes and the offerings and the, we got money and y'all poor, you bum Israelites and all that, right? And uh, matters of the law. These ought ye to have done and not to leave the other undone. See that? So they say keep the law, but then they disrespect the Lord's name, the spirit. <laughs> ye blind guides, man. Yeah, they out there guiding people, but they're doing it blindly. With strain at a net and swallow a camel. All right, so the 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 um the weightier matters, which is dealing with the Lord's name, that's the whole heavens, the throne, and everything. You know, they treat that like they could just swallow that down. That's nothing. Yeah, that's nothing. They treat it like it's not important. But a net, the law, and all these other little things, uh, the law and the net, not small. But I'm talking about it's small when it comes to when it comes to the uh, sacrifice that Yahweh Shai did for us. You know, our righteousness is as filthy rags. That's what I'm saying. But they strain at a net. You know, wear your fringes. This is all these little tedious things. But when it comes to the truth and the why, the understanding, they treat it like it's nothing. You know? So, woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, man. The ones that be claiming to be keeping the law perfectly. You know, we claim that we keep the law perfectly, the best of our ability, but they claim it to be keeping it perfectly, and they're not. Hypocrites, for ye make clean the outside of the cup. You got all these writings on the joint, IUIC, and... Yeah, oh, you, uh, um, you saw a camp? Yeah, what camp? They had on purple? Oh, yeah, that's us. <laughs> purple and gold? Buying up all the fringes in the city and shit. I'm still mad about that. For ye may clean the outside of the cup and of the platter. Yeah, and the platter, man. Where they're where they teaching people at, they try to make that all <clears throat> glorified and glorious looking. I want you to look royal too, my brother. What's his name? Howard the Duck looking guy. All right. Um, <clears throat> Asaph. This, this damn <laughs> the garment be fitting like this and shit. Head be all tiny in that jaw. Look at Deacon Asaph. His jaw be like. <laughs> yeah. Big ass garment. <laughs> what the hell, man? Anyway. Uh, but within they are full of extortion and excess man and we've heard stories so yeah man um, this is uh, Matthews 22 and 9 it says go ye therefore into the highways and as many as ye shall find bid them to the marriage that's what we're supposed to be telling people about the marriage all right, where, where Yahweh is going to send Yahweh Shai to deliver the elect and give them the new covenant, right? Put them under the new covenant, all right, and uh, save them from the coming destruction, which is ultimately the judgment of Yahweh. So, um, Now it says, Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid them to the marriage. So, it, it may, you know, it could be anybody if they're of the elect. But, but just going to the hood or a certain projects area, and you, you say, Yeah, I went out there. Y'all don't go to the hood. <laughs> We've been there. We're from there. But we just go where we. Uh, can get the word out of that man comfortably we don't have to be comfortable but you know you're going to debate that cause you're going to contend for the faith but sometimes you just want to get the get the lesson out and if somebody don't hear you tell them keep it pushing man all right 
So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. All right, so that's what's about to happen. All right, so um, now, in fact, I'm going to keep reading. And when the king came in to see the guests, when Yahweh returns, he saw there a man which had not a wedding garment. So they, they're going to be saying, I'm keeping the laws. I'm keeping the laws. I got my, I'm covered. But they don't believe in Yahweh Shai. Right? They don't believe in the name of Yahweh. So they have no covering, man. And he saith unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? Ezekiel 37. Standing up. Uh, the sinews have him looking strong out there. I'm an Israelite. Woo -doo -doo -doo. But they still don't have no, no, no covering for the wedding. That's what it's about. The joining, the marriage, which goes into the covenant between Yahweh Shai and the bride, the elect of Israel. We want to be covered for that. And he was speechless. <clears throat> Then said the king to the servants, bind him hand and foot. So the Lord going to have the angels and take him away <clears throat> and cast him into outer darkness. And there, see, cast him out to be destroyed, you know, leave him out there. And there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So they're going to be part of two thirds in the coming destruction. For many are called, but few are chosen. All right, so many are called, man. You see IUIC out there. You see all these other camps. But it's only a few that are of the chosen, all right? So this video here is all theatrics, man. You know, our people like drama. That way he named it that. The whole hood came to fight. I'd have met him there because the Lord did say, Ye are gods. He's saying, God is your higher conscience. He on that conscious stuff, I get it, but meet him there. Shit, yeah, you're right. But if, if, if God is your higher conscience, deliver yourself then. <laughs> Meaning, yes, power, power comes from our higher conscience, from Yahweh. But he got to be dealing with you. And that's where, if there's a disconnect in any source, where's your higher conscience? You really be dealing with a lower conscience if you really want to go there. We want to reach the highest level, which would be to the most high. And the canal, the channel, or the conduit, that leads from the source and to the source is through Yahweh Shah. All right. But us, we're here to be um, translators like you would do with an a, a interface. We're like the interface to channel that energy or that language, spiritual language of the truth and the light into the darkness you know to our people so they can understand it all right <laughs> yeah man jake gonna be jake you know so this guy probably just a scoffer See? See? What did they prove, man? So anyway, I'm done with this one. Uh, on to the next one. Uh, hopefully it's edifying and a, a more guidance to you brothers out there that are going to be stepping out or are already stepping out where to teach. How to handle it when you're confronted with this type of stuff, man. Or you basically don't go confront them. You know, if they come up to you, there's a procedure for that too when you're teaching. 
and you don't have to flee every time because then they'll chase, chase you all over the damn city, basically. So you, uh, you, you use wisdom, right? But we don't have to go set up in the hood. We don't have to go set up in Esau neighborhood. We don't have to go set up in the Mexicans neighborhood. No, you go out to the, the highways and byways where people get, not to the damn road. You see people doing that, teaching on the highway, literally. No, I'm talking about you teach in the marketplace, right? The place of commerce where people buy and sell. That's like the watering hole. That's where a lot of people meet at from different walks of life, right? And he said, go out to the gates of the nobles. You'll see judges there walking through the city to buy stuff or walk, just walking past you in the parks. You'll see um, preachers, right, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, man, just use wisdom when you're out there teaching. Follow the ways that the elder taught us, starting with Elder Pastor Tahar and uh, even Abba Bivens, right? Elder Yaquab, King Masha. And, uh, and, and in this case, even uh, 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 Elder um, Arya. How do you call him? High Priest Arya, but Elder Arya. When he was out there teaching, he taught boldly like a lion. All right, and um, and you use wisdom on this internet. All right, so with that, I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna say, uh, yeah, shalom. <laughs>